In this InDesign tutorial, let's take a look at letting or line spacing and how you can change line spacing here in InDesign. So if we select a paragraph of text, we've got this text box out here. We can see that we have spacing between each line. You can increase or decrease this spacing in the character panel. Now when we have this text box selected on the right hand side, you should see your properties panel and you'll find the character panel down here. If you don't see the character panel, you can go up to window go down to type and tables and then pull open the character panel that way. Now once you have this opened up, whether it's in your properties panel or you pulled open this panel on its own, make sure that you can see all the options. So you click this little hamburger menu and you can hit show options, but you should be able to see it regardless. Right here we have letting. Now letting is the spacing between lines. So if we have the whole text box selected, we can increase the spacing between our lines or decrease it by using the arrows we can type in a specific spacing, like I could type in 50 if I wanted to and press the return key. And that's gonna space out uh, a lot between each of these lines based on this font size. Now these two guys are not linked together, so you can increase the font then. Uh, so sometimes when you increase the font, you also have to make adjustments to your custom letting or custom line spacing. If you have it set to auto by clicking this down arrow, you can click on auto. It will just kind of set it to whatever the font's default spacing is. But if you have custom spacing set, then when you change this font size, this letting will not change. It'll stay at whatever your custom size or custom font size was. You can also hold the shift key to go up and down in larger increments. So in this case, I can go up and down by 10 instead of just one. Uh, so when you hold the shift key, that'll do that. But this is how you can change your line spacing here in InDesign.